afternoon everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defence Universe, Day 2 at DEFIA 2023 and I am at MBDA Pavilion. I am standing in front of uh, the missile from MBDA and to talk more about what is being offered by MBDA for the Mediterranean region, I have with me Michelle Dupont from MBDA. Thank you so much Michelle for talking to us and uh, over Thank to you, you now. Me. Okay, so I will show you the, uh, the weapon package of uh, the Rafale. The Rafale was sold to the Hellenic Air Force. So it comprises with four main elements. You have an anti-ship missile, which is the AIM-39 Exocet. You have, uh, behind you, you have the Scalp, which is a deep strike missile. And then you have the Mika, uh, two version, uh, radio frequency and infrared. And you have, at the end of the corridor up there, you have the Meteor that will show you a bit later. Okay. So let's start with the uh, air-to-ground version, so air-to-c. So that's the, uh, the M39, so it's a, it's a fairly large missile, about 600 kilograms. Uh, the Rafale is carrying only one uh, in the center line of the, of the aircraft. And it's a fire-and-forget missile, about 180 to 100 kilometers range. So basically, you drop it uh, when you are flying, and then it will, uh, it will do some sea skimming, uh, all the way to the target. At some point, he will, uh, he will, uh, he will open his eyes, so he got a, an RF seeker at the, at the end of this, and then he will go to the target, which is a ship. It's mainly to destroy ship. Okay. okay. So that's for the air to uh, marine, kind marine. Of air, yeah. to ship. air to ship. I can go first to the deep strike because it's the same kind of field with a scalp. So also bought by uh, the Hellenic uh, Air Force. The scalp is a deep strike missile. That means that uh, it's going uh, on the ground and it's going to address uh, bunkers, infrastructures uh, which are not movable, and usually infrastructure which are defended with uh, concrete walls, quite deep for the, the penetration. So pretty much the, the pilot is uh, planning the mission uh, on the ground because it's a strategic weapon. Uh, the missile will be dropped from the uh, from the aircraft, and same as for uh, AM39, it will go directly by the, to the target, following the path that the pilot gave beforehand on the mission planning. At some point, uh, arriving at a, a distance, a certain distance to the target, the uh, the storm scout shadow storm shadow scout will uh, elevate, will go up, will do a bunt. And then it will recognize the target, it will compare, it will do some automatic target recognition. It will uh, compare what it sees from what you have in store that the pilot put it to go onto the target. Very efficient, combat proven, was used several times in uh, other operations. So that's uh, the scalp. And now if you go to the air to air package, the air to air package is comprises of two families, two, two types of missiles. The first one is the Mika, so as I said, RF and IR. So it's exactly the same kind of missile. The only thing we changed between the two of them is the fact that this, so with the electronics, with the warhead, with the propulsion, is all common between the two. The only thing we change is the white piece. So this one is the RF seeker, so all weather. Uh, it's like a small radar, and the other one is the infrared. So we need to have uh, it's it's going onto the uh, the heat yeah. of the uh, of the aircraft. So it's a uh, it's a air weapon to destroy other aircraft. Mm -hmm. The range of this kind of uh, missile is about 60 to 80 kilometers. So it's fairly uh, it's fairly long. So it's not only auto protection around the aircraft like other types of infrared missile, but it's also uh, going into a, a medium range air to air missile. And then. The last one, last but not the least, is the Meteor that you have here. So Meteor is what we call a game changer. It's, uh, it's a long range air to air missile. It is, uh, the Rafale can carry two of them mm -hmm. and it's one of its kind because it's got a ramjet inside. So basically what happens is that uh, when the, uh, I can show you maybe on the, uh, on the, the aircraft itself, you can see the two missiles which are carried here, so that's uh, the Meteor. Mm -hmm. So the pilot will select, it's also an air-to-air -air missile, so to address other aircraft. So the pilot will uh, will drop the missile, so the missile will drop for about 
certain amount of time, but a few seconds, uh, the booster will, uh, will ignite, will um, boost the missile all the way to uh, uh, the speed that it needs to, to sustain. Then the ramjet will take over because you have the air intake it will, uh, it will be uh, taken out. And then the missile all the way to the target will keep the same speed. So it's, uh, it's a game changer because it's a huge range, 130 kilometers, something like that. What is also remarkable about What's it... What's the range? Sorry? 130 kilometers. 130 uh, what is also remarkable about it is that most of the missiles that you can see, for instance, or some of the type of missile, you the missile burn all the energy that it got in a few seconds, and then afterwards it's continuing its course and losing little by little its speed. The meteor will never lose its speed. It will keep on with the same speed and will go with very high uh, speed uh, onto the target. Yeah. And it's also, the seeker is also uh, an RF seeker uh, in front of it. So at some point, it will be independent from what the pilot is saying. But I forgot to mention that you got both missiles, the Mika family and the Meteor uh, Data Link, but the pilot is designating, when the, the missile is in flight, is designating the, the target mm -hmm. until at some point at the end game, when uh, the, the system by itself is becoming autonomous and uh, the RF seeker is doing his job and going right. on to the target. Michel, I would like to ask you one thing. All these uh, missiles are uh, in a package with Rafael. Yeah. Are you interested, are you planning uh, that if it's, it, it has to be always in the package with Rafael or they can be... No, no, no. Uh, it's uh, it, we, we propose it some uh, on, on, for instance, for the for the Helenic Helenic Force. Yeah. They, they have Mika mm -hmm. and they have uh, Scalp for Mirage 2000. Yeah, that's what that's what so, I wanted to ask. Yeah, of actually. course. We, it's we, not we, only uh, always with the package, but it can absolutely. come. Absolutely. And if you look at Meteor, for instance, yeah. Meteor can go on three types of aircraft at the moment, which uh -huh. are Typhoon, mm -hmm. Gripen, and Rafale. Okay. But we are making also some of the tests with some of the customers, some of the aircraft who have it, uh, this kind of, uh, of of weapon. The same for Mika and uh, the same for, Storm, uh, for, for Scalp and for, for M39. So, mm. of course, okay. if ever some uh, uh, aircraft company wants to adapt this, yeah. we are more than happy to, help, to try to help them out. Right. So, this year in Defia, this, this is all that has been already been happening with the Hellenic yeah. Air Force. This year in Defia, is there something new which has come up well, with the, the MBDA the, something, air systems? Something new that I, I, I didn't mention is mm -hmm. the Mika NG. Okay. Because the Hellenic Air Force has Mika NT, which is the former kind of generation. Mm -hmm. In a few years' time, we will have Mika NG, so for, for new generation. So what happened is that from the outside, it's exactly the same shape, mm -hmm. uh, electrical interface, mechanical interface with the aircraft. Mm -hmm. But uh, inside the missile, it's totally different. Okay. I mean, the, the number of battery, the, uh, the technology is completely brand new. And as I said, it will come in a, in a few years' time. And the same concept is that from there to there, it's the same between the two of them. And what is it is that we compress some of the some of the uh, the components inside mm -hmm. to allow to have a, a bigger propulsion system. So we have about 30% range increase from the other type of Mika. And you have two different kinds of, uh, of uh, uh, RF seeker and IR seeker, which, we, which will make it... Uh, much better against smaller targets that you can see much more now, like UAV or, or drones. So this is this is what we are showing, but it will not come before the next, uh, let's say, five five to seven years. It's under development at the moment. Okay. And apart from that, on the Rafa weapon package, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, how many how how much time you said it will take to uh, this? Uh, five this to five to seven years. Five to seven, seven years. Yeah. So. So it is already, uh, MBD is already working on this oh, yeah, and, yeah. Too, and uh, the Hellenic Air Force has already adopted that we, they no, should be. Not no, yet. not yet. Not okay. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Thank you so much, Michelle. That was a wonderful information that you shared with us. My pleasure. And uh, looking forward to speak to you again in some other show. Thank My you pleasure. so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.